Good evening, and welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm D-Lake for Prez. Earlier today, I was on InfoWars.com, and I noticed the link, Homeland Security Report List Liberty Lovers as Terrorists. Earlier it was a normal link. Now that I've returned to my news station, I notice it's at the very top, and it is in red. What have I told you about the red headlined links at Infowars.com? You click on this link immediately. It's the first article you read, and it's the first article that you follow up on when it comes to research and investigation and knowing what's going on in the world. Let's get to this article. Homeland Security Report lists liberty lovers. People that love liberty as terrorists. Hmm, very interesting. Terrorists, huh? Americans who are suspicious of centralized federal authority, reverent of individual liberty, deemed domestic threat. <laughs> the article by Paul Joseph Watson on Infowars.com today, Tuesday, July 3rd, 2012. A new study funded by the Department of Homeland Security characterizes Americans who are suspicious of centralized federal authority and reverent of individual liberty as extreme right-wing terrorists. The Homeland. In the United States, the Department of Homeland Security was created soon after the September 11th, 2001 terrorist attacks. as a means to centralize response to various threats. This term is rarely used by common United States citizens to refer to their country. Right. It's some German nonsense that no one ever said, which made the chosen name sound odd to many, like me. In a June 2002 column, Republican consultant and speechwriter Peggy Noonan expressed the hope that the Bush administration would change the name of the department, writing that, quote, the name Homeland Security grates on a lot of people, understandably. Homeland isn't really an American word. It's not something we used to say or say now. End quote. Let's get back to the article at Infowars.com. That hotspots of terrorism and other crimes in the U.S. PDF the study was produced by the National Consortium for the Study of Terrorism and Responses to Terrorism at the University of Maryland. The organization was launched with the aid of DHS, funding to the tune of $12 million. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here's what you've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. This is an amazing red link, link article by Paul Joseph Watson that I'm reading to you right now. And here it comes. <laughs> Here's all the things that are going to put you on the list. You're going to be on the list, pal. Because we say so. And then you can't do anything. Try to buy something. Try to move around. Try to get out of your house. Try to eat something healthy. Try to breathe some fresh air. It's not going to happen. Americans who believe their way of life is under attack. Is your way of life under attack? Nah, it's cool. Americans who are fiercely nationalistic as opposed to universal and international in orientation. Well, I'll tell you what, if I got all these American flags and Star Spangled Banners on the day before the 4th of July, Independence Day, and I don't give a rat's ass about a globalist agenda, and I don't care about the UN or any of that, I guess I'm a terrorist. Apparently I'm a terrorist, DHS. Some wannabe fake department that was created just after the September 11th attack, manufactured attacks, and, and uh, whatever they say goes, and whatever you do blows, and it's their way or the highway, and they win, and you lose, and they're magic, and you're not, and they have special powers, and they have the Jedi Force, and you're just a Sith Lord that just wants to destroy and kill and, you know, strike everyone down. Well, golly gee, I guess if I was the one doing that, I would say that you were, while well, I go around doing it. I mean, yeah... 
You all want to live in some kind of wannabe fantasy, Minority Report, Star Trek, Terminator, Predator, drones flying around, robots do all the jobs, and we just sit around on our lazy asses. Is that what you're talking about? Well, why don't you scientists invent some good stuff and stop trying to kill us, and uh, maybe then we could all live in a big gigantic world greenhouse. It doesn't have to be separate. And you don't have to go build vaults in Antarctica for your seeds because we can't have any. Or the Queen of England's got big giant farms, but you can't even drink raw milk. Because your agenda here and this $12 million paper is a piece of garbage. Belongs in a trash can and in the rubbish can. Oh, Americans who are reverent for individual liberty. Well, here I am in my house. I'm D-Lake for Prez. Yeah, that's what I call myself. And you can spell it all caps with the number four. Who is going to be the next Captain America? This comic book I have right here From in my hand and in my house. The year of the reader. When people read books and comic books. Here's a receipt from Longevity for all my fancy health items because I don't want your Obamacare and I don't want you government officials that ruin everything trying to tell me uh, what's healthiest and best for D. Oh, here's a Ron Paul brochure. I'm sure if I continue to read the rest of the article, this will get me into some big trouble. Here's a comic book, The Predator, with a super awesome gun action scene of people getting shot and super agents running around killing people. Here's a Time Magazine, Top 100. I hope buying this and uh, supporting Time Magazine keeps me off the uh, list. Here's a book by Chagall. Here's a book by Ventura. Here's a movie by Gilbert. All about Obama's real father here. And his plan. A story of reds and deception. Hey, look at these. Yeah. Woo! Might have some kinky fun with these. Hope I don't pass out or die like in Gerald's game. You love all this media that I have in my home? Is this gonna get me in big, big, big trouble? What about this Trident Vitality? It's not even opened. You can have a piece. Here's a Don't Tread On Me sticker from InfoWars Prison Planet. Came free with some items that I purchased at their store. Hope that doesn't get me in big, big, big trouble with your $12 million report. Stop the presses. Here's a pocket size constitution. And according to trolls that paste, that paste and post and comment on my uh, YouTube, they think the size of your constitution is what matters. <laughs> Beyond Tangy Tangerine. More Ron Paul. Oh, should be all right though. I got 50 cent. Like the rapper, but it's two quarters printed by the Federal Reserve. And rule, true crime stories. American Psycho, delay. Whoa, whoa, stop the presses. You're into some freaky stuff. I think you made the list, pal. You're a terrorist, D-Lake. Hope I'm not scaring you too much. Maybe I am. All these flags and movies and books and, and uh, health products. And these black Dominator gloves. Just like the cops. And these scary sunglasses. And this beard that I haven't shaved yet. Whew, I'm a menace to society. Terrorist. Go ask uh, the Homeland Department. The Goon Force. And uh, how, many, how many months before you think DHS teams up with the uh, IRS to crack down on... Uh, on you and your family for not taking Obama medicine. Come on, man. Let's just keep getting socialized. Let's just keep getting red, uh, painted red and deceived. And all these logos that look like the Weather Underground. I mean, I watched the movie last night. I thought it was really good, Joel Gilbert. I'm D-Lake for Prez, the InfoWars Nightly News. The Department of Homeland Security in the United States DHS was created soon after the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks. Bunch of Tomahawk missiles is what I saw. As a means to centralize response to various threats.